G'day viewers, I present to you a humble proposal. Let's see off a week with a bang with another edition of Totally Fucked Up Friday. But I'm going to take a slightly uh, different tact and all, still all totally fucked up, but given some really heavy shit that just seems to keep happening in the world, I'm going to have things that are just sort of shit stupid funny as opposed to shit terrifying fucked up. Still fucked up. But on uh, the uh, arguably less terrifying end of the spectrum. But still fucked up. Like the internet troll in Brisbane, Australia, who's actually been jailed. Yes, one of these fuckwits who think it's funny to post offensive stuff to a memorial for a kid who was dead is going to jail for at least a year, and then he'll be on probation for two years after that. And he's not the first, there's at least one case in England of a bloke doing the same thing, going to jail. Uh, now, some of the charges he was facing were, I think, newfangled internet charges about, you know, using public uh, uh, carriage to cause offence, but the really obvious one he went on was essentially child porn charges, which happened to the dickhead in the UK too. Hey look, they're upset about their kid being done. I'm going to post some porn on there. Uh, that's illegal, you know guys. Um, even when you photoshop an image of a child with a dick, uh, you're creating child porn. And you're going to jail. Ha, ha, ha. Now, uh, I'm actually not in favour of uh, a severe prosecution on people who are, you know, trolling online simply because it's too easy to abuse that law. But hey, the guy put porn on a site where he was traceable. He should go to jail just for being fucking stupid. And here's a picture of him going into court and, hey buddy, where do you think that shit eating smirk's gonna get you in jail? It's gonna get you a little life lesson. And by life lesson, I mean you getting bent over and dunk donkey punched repeatedly. But maybe that's a lesson you need to learn. But really one of the standouts for me in this story, the actual conservative newspaper had the headline, headline calling him a troll. Wow, they've entered the last decade. Get on you, Herald Sun. Now another totally fucked up story from Florida in the US. Seem to get a lot of totally fucked up action happening in Florida. Uh, locals from there tell me this is not surprising. It's that kind of a state. Now this is the story of a woman who kept claiming uh, pension checks for her mother after her mother had been dead for five years. Apparently uh, getting 70 odd thousand uh, dollars worth of the uh, social security payments which, you know, given the person they were thought was dead, is being regarded as a crime. Now, it's look, this person's not like a master criminal. They're actually quite sad and seriously have issues and an inspection was done, I think it was called a wellness visit, a wellness inspection uh, for the uh, who turned out to be dead mother uh, because the neighbours were complaining about rats and rubbish. You know, the person had turned into a shut out, shut in and it had got all fucked up and weird. And when they did the inspection, yes, they did find the badly decomposed corpse under several feet of rubbish. Ill. Uh, so, yeah, this person is now possibly facing jail, more likely facing some sort of institutionalization because, uh, you yeah, know, yeah, they are doing an evaluation on her, which could also be called mm, waste of time or stating the obvious, you know, she's got fairly serious issues living in her own filth, garbage, and her mother's corpse. I even like the wording of the indictment has got her uh, saying that, you know, you know, she claimed the benefits for five years when she knew her mother was dead. I'd like to see her defend that, actually. Oh, you said I knew she was dead. I didn't know she was dead. I thought she was being very, very... Quiet. Oh, come on, it's funny. When, when a dead mother's not funny. Anyway, this woman's an amateur. She's not a criminal. She's got issues and she's an amateur. Look up Snowtown. The Snowtown murders in Australia. 
These were some sick fucking freaks. And they didn't keep their mother's uh, pension checks after she was dead. They fucking killed people for their unemployment benefits. Put their bodies in barrels and stored them in a disused bank vault. That is some hardcore fucked up criminal activity. In another classic example of totally fucked up application of a totally fucked up law, the Nunawading Council has decreed uh, that certain toddlers shall be banned from chalk drawings on the footpath outside a cafe because it breaches graffiti laws. It doesn't take the intelligence of a toddler to see that graffiti laws aren't meant to apply to toddlers drawing in chalk on a footpath. Okay, now if you know me, you'll know I think the graffiti laws around here are fucked anyway and stupid and badly applied. But when they get applied to a cafe that had a thing to keep their patrons' kids busy, I give them some chalk, draw on the footpath. And the cafe owner said they're happy to actually wash it clean every day. But the council said, no, and they managed to save face because they said, or oh, they couldn't give them a permit to have the kids drawing on the footpath. Because there's a safety risk. People could fall over the kids. They could be hurt. Look at the kids. Look at the evil in their faces. Look at those evil faces. It wouldn't be an accident with those kids. You can tell those kids are just waiting for their opportunity to grab a passing adult and hurl them into traffic. Kudos to you, Nunawading Council. You have stopped a horrible, horrible crime before it could happen. You totally fucked up idiots. And I want to round out with my biggest fear of this week. Muslimic ray guns. Oh, you have not heard of Muslimic ray guns, have you? Maybe you have. The mainstream media have been keeping it quiet. Oh yes, this pandering to extremist groups. But thanks to the English Defence League, we now know the threat we face. <laughs> yes, these mental giants, the EDL, like their pals, the BNP, the British Nationalist Party, the people who are so stupid, they like to worship Hitler, the person their country actually fought against. And yeah, look, and, and whenever you bring that up, the fact that they're fucking fascists and Nazis, it's not an insult, it's an actual description of who they worship. Uh, these groups are made up of two groups of people. Crazy fucking idiot morons who openly worship Hitler and liars. That's what it comes down to. And uh, look, there, I'll, I'll put links to a few of these really quite insanely funny videos of these are uh, protesters who make the American Tea Party look like mental giants. And, and they're just the guy saying, uh, I'm the, the Islamic law, uh, the Muslim infidel. And, and he, no, he actually said he was worried about Muslimic ray guns. Now, apologists for these sort of hateful fucktards have made comments along the lines of, Oh, that's selective. They just got the stupidest person there and made fun of them. No, no, you, you, you know how I know they didn't get the stupidest person at an EDL rally? They didn't have time to do the research. Okay, finding the stupidest person at one of these rallies is really fucking hard. Now, finding someone as stupid as this bloke that's easy. You know how you do that at an EDL rally? You do this. Uh, that guy. And you are going to find someone who will just spout the most inane, brain-dead shit. Look, this poor bloke, you, you, you listen to him, and if he's not actually drunk, the poor bug has got some sort of probably acquired brain injury, either from being hit in the head or from substance abuse. You know, he probably doesn't know better. But that's who these parties are actively recruit. That's who they appeal to. Uneducated, stupid, paranoid, fucking idiots, okay? They're not going to be keeping Great Britain great, okay? Now, which is not to say, look, when you, it seems like some people think it has to be polar opposites. It's got to be, no, Muslims, they're all sunshine butterflies and precious little puppies. Or, oh no, the Islamists, they're going to kill us all. 
And it's just like, you know, it's not like there aren't incredibly fucked things done in the name of Islam. It's not like there aren't some people in some of these mosques who, you know, you know a cricket bat to the head might be a good idea. But for fuck's sake, okay, the actual real dangers presented by Islamic extremists are not going to be addressed from knuckle-dragging, rock-ape fuckwits like these, okay? You actually require some intelligence to deal with difficult to topics. And these guys don't have that, okay? But, you know, we have the internet where we can see them in all their glory, and of course, because it's the internet, we have auto-tune remixes of these guys. Because that's how we roll. We're the internet. You say something memorable, whether it's good or bad, and someone's gonna turn it into a song. Uh, and for anyone who thinks that that's a bad thing, all I can say is, you just gotta get down and dance to the Muslimic ray guns. Oh yeah, and just to finish up, if you're one of those morons who thinks I do have to choose between Islamic extremists and bigoted morons... <laughs>